Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yutze. Here's a look at your top stories on this Wednesday. A SWAT team surrounding a home in Lauder Hill where a man barricaded himself inside. Officers responding to that house on Tuesday night right near Northwest 33rd Way and 14th Street. Deputies say detectives were serving an arrest warrant when the man locked himself inside the house and refused to come out. He eventually was taken into custody after several hours. Police are searching for a shooter who left two people injured in Pembroke Pines. Gunfire erupted at the Avant apartment complex right near Pembroke and Flamingo Roads. One woman telling us the victims are her 23-year-old granddaughter and her 17-year-old grandson who was shot in the leg. The shooter sped away from that scene. Investigators determined it was not a random act of violence. They say the victims were targeted. Police making an arrest after a deadly crash on the 79th Street Causeway. Officers say 24-year-old Alejandro Hall was speeding when he rear-ended another car on Monday night. Hall reportedly hit two other cars after losing control of the Lamborghini SUV he was driving. When one man was ejected and died and a woman was injured. Hall was charged with vehicular homicide and driving with a suspended license. Police do believe he was under the influence. A DUI manslaughter charge may be added pending toxicology results. And police searching for a suspect behind a brutal beatdown in Deerfield Beach. Surveillance video from July shows a victim walking along West Hillsborough Boulevard. The suspect approaches him, pulls out a gun before pistol whipping the victim repeatedly. Another person hands the attacker what detectives believe is a rifle. The two ended up driving off. The victim was able to walk away. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.